TV presenter and National STEM Careers Coordinator Kate Bellingham is comparing the British Engineering Excellence Awards. It's a high profile event taking place at the historic Globe Theatre in London and attended by some of the industry's top names. So it's essential everything runs smoothly. This year, Kate has added an extra dimension to the awards ceremony and is wearing a dress made from electronic textiles. Abigail Williams. The dress was designed by competition winner Abigail Williams, a textile student from South Wales, and made by wearable technology experts Cube Circuit. With the final design only chosen a few months ago, it's gone right down to the wire to have the dress ready for today's award ceremony. We put the finishing touches on the software late last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's wearing it today. Yeah, and it was perfect. I mean, it's beautiful materials that we used, and the, I think the effect is really what we wanted to achieve from the beginning. So, really happy. And so we were done assembling the thing like at 1.30 last night. And then we were like, oh, let's turn it on and test it. And I mean, we turned it on and we were like, this is so amazing. So we were so tired, but so excited that it looked good. And we started taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to sleep even later than we should have because we were just like, oh, this is so cool. The guests start to filter in. Amongst them is Abigail, who hasn't yet seen the finished dress. Backstage, Kate tries on the dress. It's absolutely wonderful, and I just hope Abigail's going to like it. The dress incorporates LED crystals and fibre optics, controlled via Bluetooth from her bracelet. This is the first time Kate's seen the bracelet, so she'll have to get to grips with it quickly. Everything's controlled through this button here. Yeah. And so when you want to turn the dress on, you push the button. Yeah. And you'll see that also the bracelet will turn on and it'll start to glow. That's, okay. So you can look at your bracelet and actually know whether your dress is on or not. Ah. And then to change the colors, all you do is rotate the dial through the different colors. So it will start with no color at all if you yeah. turn it all the way down. And then it goes red and pink and blue and then turquoise, okay. green, yellow. And then finally, if you turn it all the way up, it'll be a plain bright white. And all the signals that you create with your little dial will be sent wirelessly to the dress so that the dress knows what you want it to do. Okay. Um, the battery life of the bracelet is about two hours. Right. Um, if you want, in the future we could upgrade it. Okay. <laughs> and the battery life of the dress is somewhere between four to five hours. It's such a funny thing to say to me. The battery life of the dress. Okay. <laughs> so it easily covers an evening out. As the guests take their seats, Ryan and Francesca hook up the battery pack. And there's just enough time for Kate to have a final read through her lines before taking to the stage. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just say how wonderful to be in the company of so many engineers and engineering enthusiasts. There are people who doubt that these three words go together, British, engineering, and excellence. But we'll tell them, won't we? And... This year, I didn't just want to tell people, I wanted to play my part in showing people, to light up their imaginations by showcasing how Britain is a world leader in smart materials, e-textiles, and wearable technology. the first public appearance of a unique showcase outfit which incorporates design, technology and it's Bluetooth engineering. Uh, it's got textiles education and a world-renowned fashion company involved and I'm so proud to reveal it today as my contribution to this highly significant event. <laughs> I didn't see my dress actually finished because I hadn't seen how it would look at all and it was really panicky if it looked like awful. But it looked really good so it was really exciting to see it and she just looked amazing. As the awards draw to a close for another year, it's hoped this particular project will have a lasting effect. Obviously this has been a really interesting one-off, but I'm really hoping it can have a more lasting effect. What we're able to offer teachers and, and textile students is a case study of going from a, a challenging specification through to a, a finished product and, and to actually see the whole process taking place. 
even if your students didn't enter the competition, there is an awful lot of resources here for you to tap into as teachers. I think the fact that we're going to make available um, the resources in terms of the design brief, the specification, so that they could be used again and again as starting points, maybe at the beginning of a GCSE course, and they will really prompt students to go away and investigate the world of e-textiles, smart materials and wearable technology in general.